Most school lunch programs in America are a scandal. The school lunch program, by and large, is a disposal system for surplus agricultural commodities. Um, what happens is that farmers in the industrial system grow too much of various things. The government buys it from them to support their prices and their, their welfare, and then dumps it on schools. Um, and whether it's you know chopped meat or chicken nuggets or you know whatever it is, the result is food that's very fatty, uh, high in salt, uh, highly processed. Um, and, and also because of budgetary problems, the, the school uh, cafeterias, they, they no longer have kitchens. They have giant microwaves. So they're utterly dependent on processed food. They couldn't cook it if they wanted to. Um, it's about money. I mean, we spend pennies uh, on each school lunch. And, um, you know, to treat our children that way, um, we supposedly care very much about their health and development, um, but we feed them junk. Uh, it's just, you know, it's just shameful. And um, fortunately, there's a revolution going on in school lunch, and there are efforts to change it. The rules make it very hard to change it. It's very hard for a school lunch program to buy locally, to buy whole foods. Uh, there are rules that say they have to take the lowest bidder, which is often not the, the, the local farmer. And also, even if you do want to buy local, say you wanted to serve hamburgers made from grass-fed beef. Um, well, if the government is giving you crummy industrial beef, it's very hard to justify that economically. So the food, you know, this program has got to be changed both at the local level with parents and children insisting that they want better, better food in their schools, but also there's going to have to be changes at the federal level.